Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out today's video. We're gonna get started on painting this Civic and the first step of that is to do some bodywork press. We gotta address this whole corner of the bumper. Somebody sanded and clear coated the headlights and the clear coat is peeling. We're gonna get new headlights for this car. Um, so at some point this bumper is gonna have to come off. But you can see here, the bumper doesn't quite line up with the fender. It's a little bit twisted back behind there and there's a little dent here as well. And I don't know if I wanna mess with that all right now that's going to be tricky. Uh, something is wrong with the bracket in there behind the headlight without replacing all the brackets and going crazy. Again, this is a budget paint job. So worst case scenario, right? I paint this whole car and I don't like the way the fender looks. I can pull this fender, get a new one, whatever I have to do. So I'm probably going to leave this guy alone for right now. We'll come back to it another time if I feel like it. There is a series of dents right there's one and then right here on the body line there's a really gnarly one. I'm gonna wipe this down real fast. So this here is just a little bit of dish soap and water. Anything with a lot of silicone is gonna make problems for us down the road. All I'm doing is looking down the side of the car using the reflection to find my dents. You can see that dent right there. You should be able to see that one right there. There's a little baby one right there. There's our larger dent. You can see them all where I circled. And then of course we have this massive one here. There's a high spot there. So there you can see it. When I go to fill this, because it sticks up past the rest of the body panel, I'll never be able to sand this flat and even unless I tap down that high spot. So I just drew a little eyebrow on there so I know where to tap with my hammer to try and knock that down some. Using this should work pretty well. And I'm just gonna tap that down. But that sharp point will help bring down that high spot and sort of shrink the metal. So there is our dent. You can see that high spot is leveled out now. We, we're just left with that one little low spot there in the center. So I have a soldering iron and that's what I'm gonna use to melt this bumper back together. So on the back side of this bumper now with this soldering iron melting in the plastic, I wish I could show you guys, I'm pulling plastic by melting it and bringing it into that hole. We just filled that hole from the back side and then we'll come in from the front side and we can take some extra plastic from all around and just push it to the center to fill that hole and just flatten out the surface. We're going to mix this and then we're going to go hit our dents. We're going to put a little bit more down here and we're going to try to get that body line. Come back over the top and try to get that body line. I love when I can get this all done in one coat and not go back over everything. There is that hole that we fixed. This one's going to be a little bit harder to get in one coat because it was a deep, uh, deep spot there we're trying to fill in but it is a plastic bumper so it's a little bit more forgiving sometimes when you're sanding um, depending uh, since it's a nice rounded bumper this is my paint mask but it will work because there's n95 filters on it you don't need something like this if you're just sanding you just need an n95 like a dust mask but i'm gonna wear this because that's all i have right now I'm just using some glass cleaner here. After we do this, I'm gonna have to give this time to dry. Uh, Cause you can see it'll soak into the filler a little bit, but once it dries, we'll be golden. All right guys, so the bumper's uh, 
mediocre. I mean, there's no hole in it anymore, but I didn't really bother fixing that bottom edge. Uh, I'll probably replace the bumper at some point. Uh, here you can see the back is done. So here's the other side, couple of spots that I got on this side as well. All right guys, so I'm about to pan over to the finished product and I do just wanna quickly apologize. I was having all kinds of issues with my camera equipment. A lot of the footage didn't save or parts of it got corrupted and it was really hard to piece together this video because I lost so much good content and I just kinda had to use what was left and it was just a nightmare. Uh, and then it was an editing nightmare because I was trying to figure out what good parts to put in. And so it what went from what I wanted to be a nice how-to video turned into kind of like a hey look at this little time-lapse type video of me doing this so I apologize for that um, but I, I did the best that I could with what I had left and obviously with painting a, a vehicle I can't really go back and undo stuff to reshoot the video uh, I, there, there's just no way I could do that so uh, anyways I'm gonna show you the final product and we'll talk about the car a little bit I'll tell you what's next and that'll be it for today's video all right guys, so here's the car. It's been about three weeks since I painted it and started working on this video. Uh, so it, it's been out in the elements. It's been used and abused since I've painted it for three weeks now. This is actually Ford Leadfoot Gray. And so this color, I originally wanted to do Nardo Gray, but I was like, you know what? I don't think that's gonna look that great on this body style. I wanted something a little bit darker, so that's why I went with this. It is a solid color. There's no metallic flake or anything in it, just a solid gray. Um, but this car is filthy. I haven't washed it since I painted it uh, and we, we had some road salt and stuff already so I probably should uh, do a little bit more to take care of the paint but I am going to be wet sanding and buffing the whole thing anyways. But hopefully you guys can see there I got pretty much all those dents out, smoothed out that body line, everything looks pretty good. Um, and so, you know, I, I did skip over this fender like I said which is unfortunate but it's just... It's just not worth it for me to spend a bunch of time and money trying to fix up that fender right now. I just wanted the car to look a little bit more presentable. Uh, again, I'm just using this as a daily driver, something to save up some money, pay off some debt before I get something fun again. Uh, you can see the mirrors and roof are still blue. That's because I am planning on painting those black and I want to do something with the hubcaps as well. But for just a quick little garage paint job for real cheap, I mean, you can't even get your car painted at Mako anymore for under $1,000. And I did this at home with pretty good stuff for about 800 bucks. And once I wet sand and buff all this, it's going to look so nice. But let me take you to the side here. You can see uh, this this color makes it kind of hard to see. But, I mean, it's it looks like any OEM factory paint job. You have a pretty nice, uh, you know, nice reflection on there. A little bit of orange peel because we were running out of pressure um, with the air compressor. I cheaped out on the air compressor. It's only a 33 gallon and it has like 11 CFM, which, uh, you know, depending on what spray gun equipment you're using, that's probably not optimal. But I got a little bit of orange peel because I was running out of pressure. Uh, I put the clear coat on really heavy because I knew it was probably going to get sucked in and, and dull out a little bit, um, which it didn't do too bad actually on the hood though. Um, so basically what happens is because there was so much peeling clear coat, it kind of sucks that in and it'll, you'll start to see the outline because I didn't sand it completely. Uh, the hood is really the only spot that does that. And so once I wet sand and buff this, you can kind of see it's not as nice as the rest of the car. And I also put the clear coat on the hood down really, really, really heavy. So there's like a lot of clear coat on that hood to wet sand and buff. So I will be wet sanding and buffing this whole thing. And obviously I want to paint the mirrors and the roof black to just kind of finish out the car and do something with the wheels but that is it 
Uh, I think overall it came out pretty nice and for $800 I really can't complain. So we have a couple more projects coming up with this car. I have to replace the front struts and, and some other things. So uh, just yeah, if you guys want to follow the journey and then hopefully we'll have another fun car sometime soon. But for now, here we are. Thanks for watching.